Welcome to another edition of Kebabs and Wine on Food Lovers TV. We are here at By the Blue, the inspired Indian restaurant at the Grand Mercury of Bangalore. We are going to attempt to pair a Tilwala Bharwa Tandoori Aloo. And to help us, to help me do the honors, we have Himanshu Asher, who is our food and wine moderator at Food Lovers. We have Gaurav Shiva, who is the general manager of the Grand Mercury. And of course, we have the architect of the Tilwala Bharwa Tandoori Aloo. Sridhar Sikadapu. So Sridhar, tell us about this kebab that we're going to taste with wine. Uh, basically with this dish, there are three forms of cooking uh, for a chef point of view, wherein uh, first the potatoes are, are scooped out, then they are parboiled first thing, then they are filled with potatoes, nuts, uh, coriander roots and a uh, bit of Indian spices uh, and flavoured with a bit of cardamom into it. And then uh, these are uh, basically cooked in tandoor and things like that. But from a chef point of view, what happens is basically they are parboiled, then they're deep fried, then filled with the potato, and then finally marinated with the tandoori uh, marination, which is yogurt, uh, chili, turmeric, uh, uh, jeera, or cumin, and a little bit of garam masala. Uh, so finally finish up with some dude. So they are basically uh, you parboil it, you mm -hmm. deep fry it, and then you finally finish up with some dude. Uh, we're doing two shenins. One is just a anok shenin, another is a shenin reserve, which will be interesting because we need to have the sweetness matched with the of the dish of the sultanas with the shenin uh, you know, doing that. We've got a, a fruity, straightforward chardonnay, and I think that should be having enough zippiness to it as a as a contrast and then we have a lineup of roses now the roses are uh, very interesting a one is a straight shiraz rose another is a shiraz grenache rose which adds body and texture and another is a shiraz zinfandel so you got a rose in three different styles uh, two different grapes added to it and i really look forward to picking up one winners uh, from both sides yeah Got so much sweetness. Is that the reserve? The reserve. Shining Blanc Reserve. That's a Sula, right? Yes. The crowd pleaser. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think. But I find it a bit too sweet. Mm. It's got <coughs> a, a base of some acidity. A bit of onion. Uh, Chardonnay. Chardonnay is interesting. Mm. It's got that bit of structure with its fruit. It's got the acidity, so it's a good balance, and uh, it's a palate cleanser with this. It so is. I I also like the big banana, nice and uh, fruity aroma, very short finish, but again, uh, just the I think the right amount of acidity, mm. kind of lingers onto your palate for just a very very short time. Mm. For me, in the amongst the roses that work was uh, Shiraz and Grenache. In this dish, uh, Chef, I see more of textural play. Right? There's so much, and I love the nuts and the and the crunch and and, and all of that. And then you get the, the the fried cover of the aloo. So I would say amongst the roses, I would pick up the Grenache and the Shiraz uh, with this. I get a taste of the wine that I'm kind of enjoying. So I would like to go in for uh, this one, which is yeah. Four Seasons Four Blush. Seasons Blush. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. the pure Syrah was a wine that had structure, so which held the weight hmm. of the dish, but there was very little after, uh, yeah. except for a faint, faint, faint hint of something fruity hmm. at the back. Um, 
but I still think it was a first fit. So for me, I think it would definitely be something like the Chardonnay, right. which I think is a very straightforward fruity wine. There's some structure there, there's some fruitiness there, and it just seemed to hold it all well together. The softness of the cottage cheese, the sweetness from the raisins, and uh, the flavor of the cardamom, I think beautifully defines the dish. This dish, I would like to go in for a big ban in Chardonnay for the fact that the fruitiness of the wine marries with the fruitiness of the dish. Four Seasons Blush, which uh, is, is slightly acidic, which helps to cut off the creamier texture of the potato and the cottage cheese which is stuffed inside uh, with a very, very little gentle fruity flavor. I think uh, the Grenache uh, Syrah uh, combination of, of this wine as a grape was absolutely spot on to me in terms of cleansing the palate. Uh, light rosé, absolutely like a Bianco. Uh, excellent wine in terms of its fruitiness and in terms of adding that acidity that you need to uh, cleanse uh, your palate after you've had this dish. The Chardonnay uh, is the second best in terms of complementing the dish and uh, it's got fruit, it's got structure and it's got that little bit of butterscotchy uh, sweetness that uh, really go well with the sweetness of the raisins and the cream and the condensed milk that's that's in this kebab.